Faced by K.C. Hillier My father used to tell me that mother was alive, but in my seven years of existence, I'd only seen her once, in a picture. Three years later, mom showed up at my doorstep. Dad opened the door and let her in. She looked younger than I thought she would look. She smiled at me, but I didn't smile back. Back basically, dad told mom that I'd eventually get used to her. He kissed mother on the lips and mother kissed him back. Yuck. I couldn't stand looking at mother anymore. I dashed into my room, soon falling asleep in the creeping darkness. I opened my eyes and it was two years later. Mom was no longer standing with dad in the living room, but there was another mom who looked so much different from the one before. She didn't look close to the one I'd seen last month or the one I'd met a week earlier. I've been seeing so many mothers lately, so confusing. How many could one boy really have? And I thought that by now, one of those mothers would have asked me what my name was. I little boy just wasn't cutting it. My father was always a good man. He gave me food to eat, taught me how to clean and dress myself, and took care of me the best way he knew how. Which is why I felt bad when I had to break the news to him. At the age of 18, I left my father to travel to another part of the world. I just needed to spend time alone, far away from all the confusion. My new life would ultimately revolve around school, work, and two girls next door. I would speak to them often, and in return, they fueled my chats with words reminiscent of them being cherry and zany. I ended up marrying one of those girls. Figuratively speaking, she became the cherry on my cake. For a while, it all went well. I provided for my wife, I was there for her in times of need, and she even taught me a thing or two about upholding my ideals and dress. And one day, I woke up and she was gone, I had left. It just didn't seem right staying with Cherry somehow. I didn't deserve her, I didn't love her. Conversely, I didn't think I had the right to know what love was supposed to mean. I returned to visit my father a few years later and was perplexed to find a woman comfortably sitting in his house. The very first mother had seen when I was seven years old, she'd returned. She smiled at me, and this time I smiled back, and she asked me what my name was. I'd spent a mere two days with them before I took off again. A year later, I showed up at someone's doorstep and was startled when a little girl opened the door for me with a welcoming smile, then Sherry swiftly stepped in front of the girl, recoiling when she saw who it was. No words between us. At least not before a man's voice shattered the serenity. Who is it? I then looked straight past Cherry and saw the picture hanging in the house of her, the little girl, and the man who wasn't me. Smiling, I left in peace. One week later, I had a strange woman sleep beside me. When I woke, she was gone. Dissatisfaction, new anxiety, I'd found my mother, found my wife, but now, all I want is to find my little girl. I just want to find my little girl.